Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, we began our absolute war against Fawful's castle, rampaging through the hallowed halls as Bowser and brought a much-needed beatdown to Fawful's most trusted minion, Midbiss, destroying him at his absolute best and turning him into a living ice cube due to his own powers giving him the worst possible kind of brain freeze. The only thing is, although we may have won the battle, we lost in the terms of the Dark Star being reawakened. And with it reawakening itself, and Fawful kind of getting a little bit of a beatdown himself after, although getting a little bit of suction of the Dark Star's powers, because he was obviously transforming, but let's be honest here. Although it yeah, it definitely reawakened, and, uh, well, it decided to go inside Bowser's body. And, well, now is burning him from the inside out. So, yeah, Bowser is definitely not in the best, uh, possible way at the current moment, let's be completely honest there. Because, uh, yeah, he definitely isn't having a fun time. But with that being said, honestly, there's only one thing we can really do for Bowser. And, well, that's delve deeper into his body and hopefully find out what to do with this Dark Star. Because, let's be honest here, Bowser is definitely not having the funnest time right now. And with the fact that it's literally burning him, well, uh, there's only one way to really fix that, isn't there? And that's by using the nice ice-cold uh, freezer that is Midbus's nose there. But with that being said, we now head into the next chapter of our story, since we definitely have a little bit left to go for our story, obviously, so, honestly, we have ourselves some kind of- oh, okay, well that answers that question. <laughs> I was wondering what that orange pipe would do. I didn't test it out yet, so, but yeah, let's definitely freeze up Bowser's body and see what we could do here, since, let's be honest here, Bowser's only, you know, hope is <laughs> by using Midbiss to actually, you know, be normal, but there we go. But here we go, the airways. The Dark Star escaped into Bowser's body follow it into the airways, and honestly, let's be honest here, the airways definitely seem to be quite a, well, hmm, Dark Star-based enemies are now in here. It's basically a, like, well, pufferfish, actually, to be honest there. I was gonna say cheap cheap, but, uh, interesting. So it's already trying to, like, kind of be like a virus inside Bo Bowser's body. That's kind of interesting. Well, we got... Definitely a pufferfish-like enemy. Multiple hits on hammer, though, so we have multiple chances to counterattack against this guy, although it does land on top of us. Not sure how to feel about enemies that do that, but honestly, air cheaps don't seem too bad for honestly, because the thing is, is we were dealing with enemies that Bowser really couldn't counterattack before, so anything that we can actually fight back against, I'll take, honestly, because then we'd actually do damage to them. Only thing is, is the falling perspective- oh, okay. They're actually much worse than seemed. Okay, so that is definitely not an attack we want to be hit by. And it looks like they can get double hits too. Wow. Are you okay? Can you chill? Like, actually chill. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, yeah, air cheeps are definitely dangerous. I'm definitely going to have to put that one on the list of enemies that we need to be careful about. Because, uh... Wow, okay, I was not ready for that. Please uh, stick to uh, bouncing in the air like that. Oh, what the? Okay, well that's interesting. We can completely deflate them. I was not ready for that one, but uh, apparently they could do that. Do they lose their whole turn for reinflating? They do. Huh, that's interesting. It's a very interesting uh, hmm, discovery, I guess you could say. <laughs> okay then, air jeeps are definitely going to be... Very, um, interesting to deal with. I literally have no other words just because of the fact that I was not ready for, uh, them to, you know, be as crazy as they were. Because that was the first time we really dealt with something like that before. And, yeah, that's definitely, uh, an enemy that's going to catch us off guard at least a couple times here. I could definitely say that one. Thankfully, we are getting one this time. And it is a, uh, no, it's a, another one of these. Thankfully, he didn't go for that weird flip attack. I don't know how we're supposed to figure out that he's going to do that. That seems like something that's just a fake out in general, which is never a good thing for Mario or Luigi. 
in these games, to be fair. Because enemies will definitely take us out as much as they want. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, so we can go for a knockout if we go for it. But I think I know why we deflated it now based on that previous interaction there. With the fact that it kept going after the third hits. It's 100% by us hitting the cork. So, like the uh, bomb mom in the snowball with Midbiss, where it would force them to leave you. So that's a... Uh, hmm, okay. It doesn't seem too bad. Also, I did not expect that thing to start flying at me. <laughs> I went to go jump on it and started going straight towards me. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, they definitely gotta say the... Well, oh, I know what it is. They... Okay. I know how, how to know if it's gonna do that weird thing. So, how you know is it will puff in um, some air, and then it will do that. So then you know it's going for a fake out. Still, though, the timing on the fake out is going to be something to figure out, though. But it's 100% gonna do it. There we go. Got it. So, a little bit above Mario, wait like a second, and then go for the swing. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I didn't see it before. Also, huh, our membrane's frozen. Curious, I'm wondering. If we were to stop using Midbiss, it does unfreeze it. Okay, so now we don't understand that. Okay, so anything that's connected to, like, kind of like meat kind of like things, I'm guessing this would also be something that can freeze, because I'm pretty sure this was frozen before. I think that'll, yeah, okay. So anything that's like, obviously, that is like more of like a meaty, I guess you could say, or Bowser... Like, kind of like, not bone, I guess you could say. Anything that seems like it's made out of bone, you should not, f you should freeze when you have any kind of, like, little thwomp kind of bone-like structures. That's the only thing I could really think of what those thwomps can be, because they're definitely made out of some kind of hard substance. Which, let's be honest here, we're working with Bowser's body, let's be honest here, there's a lot of bones. <laughs> and honestly, Bowser, with the fact of just everything... Just in general. Every single enemy has been based off of his own minions, which is kind of cool. We definitely, you definitely gotta admit, that is a pretty cool, like, kind of idea of, like, because it's, you know, his body's restructuring itself in general throughout his, like, time throughout the games, if you think of it like this. Well, in the general, just in general, that is kind of cool, because <laughs> it gives more meaning that how much Bowser really trusts his minions, and for them to kind of go, like, you know, and treason him after everything that's happened inside of this game for Fawful and everything. Okay, you are really, really, really bad on getting hit with. Hopefully we can get a multi... Well, we didn't get a multi uh, counter attack there, but we did deflate you. Honestly, I'm gonna go for your buddy because of the fact that I might be able to get him out before the other one. Thankfully, he is going for Luigi, and he's not going for any multi-bounce nonsense that the other guy was trying to do. There we go. Okay, Mario is back up. Perfect. But yeah, when it's two of them, it's a lot more dangerous, I think. For them being by themselves, then you don't get dizzied multiple times in a row, because both of them can dizzy them you if you're not careful. But... Yeah, for the most part, these guys are kind of dangerous, if they really get the chance to. It's just the perspective between the two screens that you really need to worry about. But, for the most part, it's not very, very bad, it's just that gen in general, it is very dangerous to get hit with disease status. If, uh, you know, both characters get hit with it. Although I think, um... Something Luigi's wearing, if I'm remembering correctly, is stopping him from getting statuses. So I don't think we're in a really bad situation. Okay, that looks like something we should freeze. But the node would freeze because of Bowser. But let's definitely take a look over here first. Well, it does look like we definitely need to freeze it anyways, because we can't go that way. So Bowser freeze up, bud. Yeah, we can't go that way at all. Not yet, at least, until we can find out a way of unfreezing that, which seems to be connected to the gray thing on the wall on the mini-map. But let's unfreeze Bowser's body, since we obviously have to press this button. And, oh, okay, well that works. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a water droplet, but that definitely helps. And hit that node in. 
and hopefully give ourselves a nice little way of, well, going that way. Okay, so now we have a left or a right to choose from. Let's definitely grab our item here, Ultra Mushrooms, pretty good for healing. We'll definitely have to take that. But let's see what's on the right side, because I am a little curious about that. Well, it's definitely a way blocking us from going any further that way. So we definitely need to go left. We'll take our save, since there's no reason not to. Any kind of saves we can get will always help, just because we don't have to backtrack. But we definitely do need to... Apparently, continuously get rid of the fire, which is interesting. I thought by doing that once it would get rid of it completely, but apparently not. I'm wondering if our little uh, air cheap enemy are the only enemy that we're going to be dealing with here, because we've only seen them so far. So I'm kind of curious on if this is going to be our main enemy or not. It definitely seems that way. There we go. Finally got a, a counter attack on him. Hopefully regular, although the regular one messed me up there. Okay, you're over- I wasn't even sure who you were over there, to be honest. There we go. Definitely not good to get hit multiple times, but at least we got out of that before they were able to get multiple, like, really big hits on us, or any dizzies. So honestly, we'll be perfectly fine with that. Although, they are gonna get another um, chance to swing at us here. Okay, you're going for Luigi, wait a second, there we go, perfect. Okay, hopefully he rolls into me. I like the rolling one, because that gives us just a free whack on them. Although, we did get him to deflate. Do we go for him still? I say we do. Probably should have went with Luigi. Well, yeah, definitely, with the fact that we just did 76 damage. But, uh, yeah, probably would have been better to go with Luigi there, in that instance. But not bad, not bad at all. Another hammer chance, so let's definitely try and get the big... Um, oh... Wow, okay. I didn't expect it to roll further back like that, but that's an interesting interaction. So it can choose to roll even further back to go faster at you, but also kind of fake you out at the same time. But so far, yeah, air cheeps are definitely enemies that are definitely catching me off guard for sure. I will definitely have to say that. Just because so far, we haven't had an enemy that has a chance of counter counterattacking like that where they can hit you multiple times or have multiple chances to hit you back. So that's definitely an interesting uh, interaction that we've never seen before. Okay, we have this kind of bone structure thing that's up there. But other than that, can we go up here? No, we can't. Okay. So it looks like we definitely need to go about unfreezing or yeah, unfreezing Bowser's body here. And let's see what the pink block does. Okay. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. What happens if we just curious on that? Okay, cool. Well, that works, I guess. Although, how do how does that really help us, though, is the real question. Well, maybe if we freeze Bowser's body, there will be an interaction here. I guess we'll find out. Does it bring the bones down? No, it doesn't. But we might be able to... Yep, we can hit the bone structure. Cool. Okay, so let's send it to the right side since there was something over here. And then we'll also more than likely need to fill up another one of those in a second. But let's definitely hit this no note over here because this could be for something else that we need just in case because you never know. Since honestly a random node in a random spot honestly could lead to something, right? Okay, it's doing something. Oh, that's what we need to do. Okay, that makes a lot more sense then. <laughs> I was about to say, like... At first, I didn't think about the uh, there not being a vent there, but that makes a lot more sense. That works out. But let's definitely send it back to Bowser, and now we can definitely send our nice little ice block to where it needs to be. Since now that, well, everything's... Well, I didn't mean to actually hit that, but there we go. <laughs> uh, only problem with having the ability to use the jump the way that it is. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, so now that that's like that... We should be able to unfreeze Bowser's body again, melt the water, and hopefully open up that node for us. There we go, perfect. And now, just uh, gotta hit the hammer, and smack the node in, and open up the path to the next part of the left side. Although I'm not sure how this is gonna help us out with the right side, but honestly it's still seemingly helping. Okay, we gotta pipe further into Bowser's body, we have a 1-up Deluxe over here. I'm going to take a heal here because 
obviously, it's been a bit since we have healed, so we might as well take a little bit of a breather for a second and get Mario and Luigi a little bit healthier than they were, honestly. Gotta wait a, waste a couple super mushrooms, but that's not too bad because we do have the ultra mushrooms and the max mushrooms. So we definitely are in a good situation on that. We haven't used any BP yet, so other than that, so uh, don't need to worry. Well, let's grab our save. See if anything new in the... Nope, nothing new in the save album. But it was worth a check. Well, let's definitely head down our green pipe here. And I'm guessing this is what's going to take us to the right side, maybe. Just because it makes a lot of sense, because now we're going lower. Um, there. Um, Mario Luigi. There it is. I'm guessing the Dark Star. Yep, that's definitely the Dark Star. It's seemingly Bowser's DNA. Huh. Oh. Well, uh, that's not good. Huh. It's eating away at Bowser's DNA right now. Or what seems to be his DNA, at least. Oh, oh. Um, looks like it tried to ju Yep, it was definitely his DNA then. Um, looks like it tried to absorb Bowser's genetic information, but didn't get it at all. Um, only Bowser's body could give even the Dark Star indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bowser. But I guess true. Oh, um, yeah, now's not the time. Figure out some way to kill that Dark Star. Okay, we'll definitely try. Although it does not look like uh, it's going to be that easy. But uh, definitely see what we need to do here. Definitely grab that. We need to freeze Bowser's body real quick. And then, obviously, fling the ice at the Dark Star is what I'm seeing, based on the previous puzzle. So, uh, Dark Star, I hope you like ice, because, uh, honestly, you kind of need to chill out there, buddy. I'm gonna be honest. Oh! Uh... Well, that's interesting. Huh. It grew Bowser's arms. That is definitely not a good thing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, e eating Bowser's genetic information definitely did help it. Huh. Okay then. Well, uh, that's definitely not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing. Um, oh, hey, Emoglobin. A chill wind blows with the globin. Oh, sticky block that glooms when hit. I hear you freeze in cold. And if you freeze and harden, that which has gloomed on will drop off like ripened globin. As always ish, the red ones uses A and green uses B. Globin in peace, oh mustachioed ones. Okay, so um, based on what that makes me think, we need to unfreeze his body and send Mario and Luigi in. Okay. And then it said to, I'm guessing, freeze Bowser's body? Based on how that sounded? That makes sense to me, I think. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. But we definitely have ourselves a new enemy here, Mr. Uh, Dark Cloud here. Uh, obviously Dark Star Cloud or something of the sort, but, uh, what are you? At least we have a new enemy to deal with now, and not just dealing with the Air Chiefs, because the Air Chiefs are definitely... Yeah, he did that on purpose, so they roll randomly when they're doing that, like, roll even further back, but we got Stonk here. Yeah, you definitely look like you probably Stonk, but, uh, okay. Oh, wow, 80 damage. I was not expecting the Lucky, but I'll take it. But let's see here. Okay, uh, yep. <laughs> Stonk makes a lot more sense now. Poisonous. Okay, so we definitely need to be careful there. I'm saying definitely get rid of you first, then. Based on that, I don't trust you to not hit me hard. But I think it's better to just go for the cork on the first one. I think for the air cheeps. Just based on the fact that it's, they seem to be definitely taking advantage of their ability there. Definitely um, an interesting way of jumping over this enemy, though. 16 damage, though, for getting hit with poison on Mario, though, is uh, definitely not a good thing. Also, you have a lot of health, buddy. A lot of health. I uh, might consider using abilities on you just because of that. But, geez, okay. Well, definitely uh, an interesting enemy. I will have to say that one. Just based on the poison. But, uh... Yeah, with the fact that it double attacks and the fact that uh, the first attack kind of has like a, you know, kind of like a Flappy Bird kind of, uh, like where you have to go right in between both the poison stacks, that definitely is not a good thing to be hit by. But uh, definitely, I think we could definitely deal with it, for sure. 
but uh, it's definitely not going to be easy. I could definitely say that, just based on what we just saw there. But now that Mr. Stonk is down, kind of curious about why there would be a... Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently that's why. But uh, let's see here. It looks like we definitely need two Cyclone Bros over here. And then obviously need to unfreeze Bowser's body again, so Mario and Luigi can deal with the nice little jump here. Get Mario and Luigi in. Get Bowser ready over here. We need to see them on the map to be able to figure out where we need to unfreeze from. And that should be perfect. There we go. And then open that so we don't need to see Bowser. Because I like being able to see the map. Bowser doesn't need the map right now. Okay, so pink takes us back up, it looks like. Or maybe not, actually. It might lead somewhere based on the line. Although I'm not sure where. But other than that, uh, definitely unfreezing Bowser is the way to go. Other than that, though, I'm not too sure. Because we have two orange pipes. One probably leads to the other side, based on there not being a marker there. But, uh... I think that's basically what we're seeing here, for the most part, is what I can- Oh. Actually, no, I think it's just timing it right. Well, okay. Well, I wasn't trying to go down the pink pipe yet, but I'll take it, I guess. I think that just took us to where we wanted to go. But uh, I was wanting to actually uh, grab the items there, because I saw a couple ones on the there, but, well, that just definitely is unfortunate. But honestly, we'll just go on through then. Okay, we got something for Mario to do, though. Not sure exactly what we're dealing with here, but uh, is it better for Mario to be in the Frozen variant of this? Not sure, but I don't think Mario can really climb that on his own anyway, so I think I think it's just we need to find a way to let Luigi go through, I think. <laughs> it definitely looks that way, but we do have this note over here. Let's unfreeze it with Bowser, and then I guess we just swing away and hope that it helps out Luigi. And, okay, seemingly helpful, although, oh, okay, I think, uh, yep, those are bouncy, <laughs> okay, now that makes a lot more sense on how Mario can help here, so let's definitely go smacking away, and it looks like we're just trying to open up that orange opening there, other than that, so, uh, curious, there seems to be some, yep, there's definitely something over there. I'm wondering if I can get there without grabbing on. Yep, we definitely can. Cool. Guardian socks. Sounds like defense buff. Other than that, it looks like there's only one option here, and that's by using this little guy here, and then hopefully freezing Mario in time before he can jump off there, thankfully. Thankfully we got it first try there, but let's unfreeze Bowser again. Definitely an interesting puzzle with the uh, freezing and unfreezing sections here. I definitely gotta say that. It's pretty cool. I like it. Just because, uh, I was thinking of, like, in general, like, how, like, an ice-based area would work. Because this, honestly, I don't remember everything from my very first interaction with Mario and, you know, Bowser's Inside Story. Because it's been a while since I played through this game. And this is one of those areas I kind of forgot about. So, honestly, that's pretty cool. But uh, as I was saying, I was thinking of how you could implement ice into this game. And that's actually a pretty good way to do it, honestly. I would definitely have to say that. Let's see here. Anything new? Nope. Same thing as before. I was thinking it would update based on us seeing the thing, but no update there. But we do have a nice way back, as well as a nice way forward. We do have to wait for Mr. Stonk here to go normal, though. Oh, okay. I don't know how that counts, but apparently they tripped Luigi there. Although, well, okay. Well, he didn't look tripped there, but... <laughs> well, he's definitely tripped now, that's for sure. Free hit for Luigi, though. Not a good start, but could be worse, I guess. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do here? We haven't really got to use Falling Star yet. And we didn't really get to use Spin Pipe either, to be fair. Honestly, I'm gonna say let's try out Falling Star, because this is our strongest ability at the moment, so we might as well get better at it. And also see what kind of damage we could possibly do with it. Might as well, right? 
So let's definitely try and get better. Need to remember that it, it flashes like that to let you know that it's about to turn colors. Because I keep trying to throw uh, Mario stars at this thing. It's something I noticed in between the demos that we've done. But honestly, it looks like we're definitely hitting a lot. We know that an excellent is far, like, easier to get. So 386, I think that was, for the first one. But 526 is not bad. I'll definitely take that. But yeah, I, I'm going to definitely say going for that on at least the stonk guy is worth it. Not sure about the air cheap just based on him being as, as easy as they are to go for. Because the trip doesn't really affect us. Because Mario is still able to attack, even if he gets tripped. So it's not like a major problem enemy. The only problem enemy with these guys is when they're in light groups and this dizzy status effect. Other than that, these guys are not bad at all. I will have to say that. But, uh, yeah, that stock enemy with it being, like, at least 300 HP is not something we can just, uh, let do what it wants, to be fair. <laughs> but level 29 for Luigi, 7 HP, 2 BP, 5 power, 4 defense, 2 speed, and 4 stash. 4 stash is really nice. That's the first time I think we've gotten 4 in a while. But I'll take that, honestly. 1-2. We could get 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That would be kind of cool. Um, but... 5 speed. There is a 4 in defense. A 3 in power. 3 in power sounds good to me. But, uh... 4 in HP. Okay. So, it's either 3, 4, 4, or 5. Or 2. And get the stash as a... Just a joke, um, level. But, uh... Honestly, a 3 for Luigi in the end would be better, in my honest opinion. So, 3, 1, 4, 4. Not bad. I'll take that. And then Mario's about to level up as well, but he needs another fight before he can do so. Wish uh, they were evened up again, but we haven't been able to get them to be so in a while. Was curious about the little opening there, but nothing up there. I was thinking there could be something secret there. Okay, so what do we need to do in here? It looks like maybe another, um, like, DNA wall on the minimap, so, honestly, based on the last one it did for the Dark Star, I'm wondering what this is going to do, because it definitely seems to be focusing on these DNA walls based on what we've seen so far. Oh, there it is again. Yep, there it is indeed. And it's still eating away at its DNA, even though it doesn't seem to like it, but, uh... Definitely, based on the previous one, with it getting Bowser's arms, I'm definitely going to say it's not a good thing for us whatsoever. Um, it just absorbed more Bowser's genetic code. Um, now's our chance. After it. After it, indeed. But I don't see a way of dealing with it right now. Based on what we see. I see a giant orange block that's the squishy block that we can jump into. And then this over here. Unless, maybe... This could... Interact with- yep, yeah, okay, it does. It interacts with a little bone there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, it has Bowser's fire- fiery breath now. That's not a good thing. And, uh, well, it's burning, uh, Bowser's, uh, bones to a crisp. So now we know why Bowser's, uh, definitely not feeling too good. Although I'm still surprised it's, um, because he- it just got the fire ability. So I'm wondering how- he would be burning up from inside, unless the Dark Star just emits, or kind of like, kind of like emits heat from inside of it, which could be possible. So just the Dark Star itself is like burning him just because of it being a hot, like, star kind of creature. Hmm. Um, it just spit fire, didn't it? In before it punched through a wall, um, just like Bowser. Um, we have to stop it from getting any more Bowser's genetic code, or we're in big trouble. Chase it down. We'll definitely try. Although, thing is, is with the fact that now fire breathes fire and can punch like Bowser, definitely does not seem to be uh, a good thing for us. But uh, honestly, let's keep chasing it down, because it still seems like we definitely have a ways to go. Although no uh, attack pieces yet, which is kind of curious. We do have an orange pipe here, so I'm kind of curious what happens. Oh, takes us back here. Let's definitely open that up then, so we have a nice way back. Looks like we have another wall, though, in that room. 
for our um, little safety one. But it looks like we got some enemies we've seen before. <laughs> okay, we could easily deal with our little, uh... Well, these guys were orange before, but we can definitely deal with these guys. <laughs> I don't know how much different they're gonna be, but honestly, they're not hard enemies from what we've seen before, unless they toss at, like, even more speeds than before they, um, like, before, but honestly, I think we should be fine. But let's see here. Okay, get ready to jump. Oh, oh, forgot you can wind it up longer. Forgot about that. That was something the original ones did, too. Forgot the original name of you guys, though. Just because it's probably going to be different. Oh, it was Naps. So they added Air Naps. Okay. So we got Air Napses and obviously our Air Cheeps. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad on what we see here. Although, what do we go here? Because, uh... What kind of damage can we do to affect four enemies at the same time? We could go Magic Window, I guess. It's random. But... It would be a nice little way of doing multiple damage to multiple enemies at the same time. The only thing is, is... Honestly, I hope it works. <laughs> That's all I gotta really say here, to be fair. So, Luigi, hopefully um, you give us a couple free hits here, because we're definitely gonna need it. A and B, just gotta remember about the A, B thing. But honestly, not a hard attack, for the most part. And when we do um, get the Mario and Luigi jumps, that's actually a really good one. But I think, yeah, this is definitely a way to get rid of four of these enemies at once. It's easier to deal with a group of four with a BP attack, for sure. Because you, I don't think it's worth trying to go for a regular range of attacks on an enemy group like that. Because then you're just going to get hit multiple times if you're not ready. But 5 HP, 2 BP... 8 power. 8 power is really nice. Wow. Okay. 3 defense, 4 speed, and 1 stash. Not a bad level up whatsoever. But what kind of level? We also hit 200 HP too. But, uh, 4 HP. There is a 2 in BP, 100%. What about power? 1 to 2, so we can hit 220. Is that really what we want though? 4 defense. There is a 5 in speed. And then a 2 in stash. So we can hit over 100 speed right now if we really wanted to. But honestly, in this situation, it's literally only HP or defense as an option here. I guess defense would be good because we're not in 200 defense, so I guess it would be fine. So let's try and go for that 4 if we can. I'm just making sure of the timer here. There's a second 2 in there, okay. So that's our note of when to get ready. Wait for the second two. There's the four and one eight four. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. But um, 184 defense. I hope it's gonna help us, just because of the fact that we're still getting hit kind of hard. And it looks like um, is that emo globin? Uh, like, what is that underneath them? Down below, a sudden mutation gives the waiting world the lifto globin. Oh, lifto globin that lacks the globin. To speak like us. Shh, shh. Do not speak, but move when frozen with chilly globin. Freeze the very air and climb upon him or cry forever. Okay, so these guys are liftoglobins. Interesting. Okay, Bowser, you know what to do. <laughs> Get your body on freezing then to help us rise to the top. And, oh, uh, well, he's smiling, so he likes it. Perfect globin. Now when mounted, the lead your. Frozen Liftoglobin Steed around with the stylus. Oh, okay. Where do I go? Asked the Liftoglobin. With a giant, or with a glint in his globin, show him with the stylus. Okay, then. Interesting. Huh. He follows your globin. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Although, the thing is, is uh, how easy is that going to be to control? Hopefully it's easy. Oh, wait, um, you want your Liftoglobin to halt. Is that your Globin? Then give him a light touch. Okay, seems easy. Okay, doesn't seem too bad. A warning of impetuous ones. The Liftoglobin only moves when he feels a certain weight. Only one person would not be heavy enough for him to move. No, if you want to feel the Globin in your hair as you ride Liftoglobin, bring two people. Okay, that said that for a very specific reason. Okay, one more note. 
Liftoglobin hates being left all alone. If you leave Liftoglobin and go far from him, he will return to his originalish spots in haste. Should you lose your precious Liftoglobin, return here and have a teary Globin, Globin reunion. So he's only going to be in this spot then? Okay. Well, good to know. So if I lose him, we come back here. Basically is what that's saying. Only thing is, is I'm wondering how hard this is going to be to control. Just because of the fact that, well, let's be honest here. I'm not really sure what's going up on the top mini-map there. There's like some kind of like spiky looking thing on the top mini-map that I'm not sure if I am need to be worried about is what I'm trying to say. But uh, slide him back up. Okay, that's what our spiky thing is. So let's stop our movement. Slide to the right. There's nothing seemingly spiky over there, so no more electricity over there. So let's just be careful with the electricity. Other than that, I think we're good. The only thing is, I'm wondering what we need the uh, Lifto Globin for other than this room. Because the thing is, it said come to this room specifically. So I'm wondering if it just means in this specific area for this one, or if there's going to be like multiple... Because it seems like there would be multiple, I would think. But now that we have our nice little Liftoglobin on move in here, let's get on top of this guy. Hopefully he doesn't leave me during the battle. Because that would be really unfortunate. Because, uh, honestly, there's no real way to, you know, you know, uh, kind of force myself to be in that area while in a battle. So I'm hoping it doesn't penalize me. Okay, forgot that these guys can reduplicate themselves. So it's better to go for abilities on these guys anyways, outside of, um, well, not getting hit by that would also be a good thing, but yeah, definitely gonna need to be careful with these guys just because of the fact of what they do. So, probably gonna go, honestly, Magic Windows just seems like it's good. So let's go Magic Window, since it seems like it does enough damage to get rid of everything here. And the thing is, is Mario and Luigi keep jumping anyways, even if you mess it up, so it's not like we get hugely penalized for not going and doing the whole attack, so honestly, might as well do it. <laughs> and also, us getting better at it is also a good thing, just because it is our strongest ability at the moment. And we haven't seen any kind of uh, attack pieces yet on the map yet, but 930 damage, not bad, not bad at all. But that's all I gotta say about that one, because uh, I was not ready for it to almost be a thousand damage on one enemy. With the fact of, you know, what we did just just not even a couple seconds ago. But, uh, you know, taking out two other enemies. But, uh, oops, hit the map there. I just need, I need to be able to see that map because we need to know where we're going. Okay, there's a free block over there. We'll go, oh, okay, I was surprised we didn't get slid off the block there. But cool that we didn't because that would be unfortunate. Because going all the way back down for this guy would be kind of unfortunate. But hopefully, um... We don't need the Liftoglobin into the next room. Okay, it's not coming with us. Okay, cool. I was a little worried about that one. But it looks like we do need to pull him off of there, though. And now we should be able to go through. Cool. Okay. Didn't look too bad for the Liftoglobin. Although, this room looks interesting based on the map. Well, only one way to go. Either across here with where the uh, Emoglobin wall here is, or go down there. You come face to face with the hard-edged totem globin. If we do not recognize you, you do not pass this globin. If you really want to go beyond this point, you must take our very tough test. Do you have the globin to take on our very tough test? Sure. Um, good globin. Eight blocks of globin have appeared below. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. I think I know what we're going to be doing here, based on the fact that the only one way of, like, you know, flying. I think we definitely need to use our light, our lifto globe in somehow in this room. Probably one at the very bottom, because we can't see the bottom here. But, uh, interesting. Okay. You must hit the eight blocks in the globe in, in numerical order. Is it timed? Because as long as it's not timed, oh, it is timed. Hit them all within the time limit to pass with the flying globe in. Hit the wrong block or run out of time and fail like bad Globin. Understand? Uh, sure do. Okay. Doesn't seem too hard. Okay, two, two minutes is not bad. Now the very tough totem Globin test. 
begins. Oh, they throw us right in. Okay. I was not ready for that. But there was one here. Uh, where would two be? Is the real question. Because I don't know where two was. Two's over here. Okay. Uh, we need to lower a little bit and then go over like that. And then send it back up. Okay, Mario, you need to move. We need to move a little bit. Come on, Toto. Okay. Apparently, because we're touching. Come on, move. There we go. This thing does not like to move very often in the way that we need it to. But honestly, it's not too bad. It's just the fact of it not wanting to move sometimes. Oh, you don't need to hit it directly. Oh, that's why. Also, wait, isn't four all the way up here? I could have sworn it was when they were showing it to us. Hopefully it is. Nope, it's not. Okay. So we're definitely going to run out of time the first time, I think. Just based on the fact that uh, I don't have these mapped out in my head because we barely saw it. But they should be kind of close to each other for the most part, I would think. The only thing is, is we really need four before going for the next one. Okay, keep going, please. I don't like you stopping out of nowhere like that. But, uh, yeah, no four, okay. Well, eight's in the middle. So where was four exactly? Because I really did not see it. Okay, well, just let Mario and Luigi go. Because I need to see where number four is. And I still don't see it. I'm guessing it's in that corner where five is. Which would make a lot of sense to me. I wish I could reset the timer, though. Just because, uh, timer being the way that it is, we're gonna get cancelled out before it even, you know, before we even get to four here. So, honestly, no, it's not in the corner. Where is it? Oh, it's... How did I not see that from there? Well, it said wrong, but it doesn't matter. Time runs out, fail. Once more for Globin. Let me see the positionings of everything before... Nope, okay. Now for the very tough totem Globin test. Okay, well, if we don't get it this time, I'm just going to skip on through it. Just because, uh, let's be honest here, it's going to be a two-minute timer. And I, you know, I don't want to subject you guys to have to watch this, like, five times. <laughs> just because, uh, it definitely... Well, I don't think we're going to mess it up again, but I'm just saying that just in case. Just because I'm not 100% if it's going to be... Because the thing is, the ice globe in here sometimes doesn't like to react to me moving him for some reason. He just does not like me, I guess. But there we go. Perfect. Okay. We need to send Mario and Luigi down-ish and then to the left. This shouldn't make us run into any Globin. Nope, there is some Globin uh, blocks here. So let's send him back to the side here. We need to hit the five that's above the six first, and then we need to send them back down for the six. Other than that, I think we're good. For the most part, because we already got five before the timer here, but it needs to go down. There we go. Okay. Send them to the right. Send them upwards. There we go. Seven's all the way at the top, so just position Mario. Oh, that is exactly what we don't need. So that's why I'm not going to move now. <laughs> okay. Learned my lesson. Don't move while on top of this thing. I thought we could stay on top of it, but send uh, Mario up. Hopefully we have enough time, because... uh 30 seconds is definitely seemingly a lot of time, but uh, it, sometimes this thing does not want to move with us. But, uh, come on, Globin, move. Lifto, Globin, move. Thank you. Okay. 20 seconds. We're still trying to get over to 8. There we go. Whew. Okay. Yeah, that thing does not like me. But win, Globin. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I was really worried we were going to fail that. You passed a very tough test with Flying Globin. Give me a G-L-O-B-O-I-N. Globin. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Um, curious, though. I saw a lot of, yeah. And also, it shows it on the top map, too, to be fair. But I saw a bunch of these, and I'm wondering what's in them. Speed Bean. Okay. Special Bean. Not bad. Uh, we definitely need to grab Lifto Globin here in a second. Speed Bean. Okay, nothing too fancy. I was thinking there was going to be a little bit more there, but I don't see another one. There should be another based on the mapping there. Oh, it's up here. I just didn't see it because we didn't go far enough. Okay, what's in this one? Flex Bean. Well, nothing like like a big amount of them, but that's not too bad, honestly. Let's send up Mr. Lifto Globin 
so we can get through that pipe now. And hopefully open up the final uh, way back through um, that one area that we saw earlier. The wall, the area with all the walls that leads us back to the beginning. That would definitely be a good thing, but there we go. Let's leave Liftoglogan back here and get on into the next room. Okay, new enemy, as well as uh, definitely a Liftoglobin puzzle of sorts. But, uh, hello, Mr. Egg Dark Star enemy. Hm, interesting. But, uh, let's definitely get ready for you. What are you gonna do, though? Air Cannon? Oh, I was thinking it was gonna give us a name for the guy piloting this thing, but... Okay, hello there, Mr. Air Cannon. You don't seem too dangerous, so I guess we'll see what happens. What are you gonna try? You're going for Luigi. Okay, you're sending bullet bills at me. Okay, they do a lot of damage, and there are one shots on Luigi at the current moment when he was at 33 HP. Okay, interesting. I'm actually gonna have Mario go for this guy. The reason is, is because Luigi is, you know, off the level of Mario. Although, the thing is, is I kind of messed myself up there, too, to be fair. Okay, he's going for multiple bullet bills here. We need to be very, very careful. Hopefully, I can time this right. Because, oh wait, I didn't know that they could turn invisible. Okay. Well, that's good uh, that uh, we now know that, but hopefully we have enough... No, we don't. Uh-oh. Okay. I was about to say, I wasn't sure if we had enough damage to get him. But this should even out Mario and Luigi again only reason why I let Mar Luigi go down there, but it could have been really bad with the fact that uh, I forgot that, you know, we go slower on, you know, defending because we haven't had Mario and Luigi go down a lot in this game. So, could have been bad. Definitely could have been bad. Thankfully, it wasn't bad, but it could have been bad. But, honestly, thankfully we survived, and that's all that really matters there. There's a Liftoglobin over there. There was a air naps over here, blocking off the exits for that area, even though it's completely blocked off already. Oh, here we go. Got a little bit of air cheeps to deal with here. Need to be careful. Keep forgetting about that roll there. And with another enemy here, that can be bad. Let it take its air out. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're definitely going magic mirror here, or magic window. It is literally no reason not to, just because it deals with these air napses pretty simply. And honestly, it's pretty good for damage, honestly. And we have the BP to go for it, so honestly, better to go safer than sorry, honestly, with enemies that can respawn themselves. But honestly, as long as we do it right, we should be good. Well, Luigi went down there, but that shouldn't affect us too heavily. Hopefully, it's not the damage that we needed to take out everything. We still have one, but the other guy should go down on Luigi's turn, I think. Just based on the fact of... I Well, actually, no, he didn't. Okay. Thought the counterattack damage would have been enough there, but... Well, that definitely was enough, but... Hmm, okay. Well, down they go. 2,400. And it seems like they are even now, based on the totem pole. Or, I don't know why I said totem pole, but flagpole. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely looking a lot better. Let's send ourselves over to Mr. Lof Lifto Globin and, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about this one. The, uh... With how the last area went, I'm hoping this doesn't go as, uh... bad as the previous area. But, uh... Let's get Mario and Luigi slowly but surely through here. And then... Honestly, as long as we keep, uh, like, hold of where Mario and Luigi are, for the most part, ooh, free coins, I'll take that, uh, but I think we're safe to go to the left side from this angle. Yeah, we are perfect. Okay, wait for that. Send him on down. Hopefully not go into the electricity here. There we go. Okay. So far, we got a lot more, uh control over it. Sometimes it doesn't want to go the direction I want it to, though. But as long as we stop Mario and Luigi... Okay, this is gonna be sketchy. Okay, let's go, like, there. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. That was definitely not an area that I was liking the positioning of. But it could have been much worse. I will def definitely have to say that. I, I'm definitely gonna say I, I thought I'd miss the, uh, the globe in there. Okay, need to slightly... Whoo, okay. 
I'm definitely not liking our positioning right now. But, uh, send him over a little bit. I want to make sure I get that block. Okay, Globin. Oof. Don't play with my emotions like that, Mr. Globin. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Okay, cool. We got a big chunk of coins there. That was definitely worth the effort there. Send him on through. We're way too close to the edge for my liking, though. I will have to say that. I'm gonna have to send them like that. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. We're doing good. Just one more round to go. And just like that, we are free. <laughs> that was definitely scary. I'm definitely gonna say that one. Any kind of free blocks up here? No. Okay. Send them back on through. Unfreeze the section. <laughs> And, uh, let's open up that pathway so we never have to do that again, because I'm pretty sure... Yep, okay, cool. Wow, that was definitely scary. I'm definitely gonna have to say that one. That was a very, uh, that was a very scary area. That's all I gotta say about that one. Just because, uh, I was expecting us to, uh, hit the electricity and then Mario and Luigi go flying on down. But thankfully, didn't happen. Could have happened, though. Okay, this is one I'm definitely saying we go magic window because of the stock enemies. These guys is um, hitting us multiple times with poison. Not a thing I want to keep around. In fact, on just in general for their damage too. So safety options, definitely got to go for them the way that we are. Pressed B there, but surprisingly it still gave it to me because I pressed A and B. So Mario got away with that scot-free somehow. But, uh, here we go. Hopefully this should do enough to at least get rid of one of these guys. Okay, one down. Other guy is... Almost down, I think. Okay, that looks a lot easier to jump. The middle section one was the one that I was a little bit more... You're going for three? Okay, um... Uh, hmm, interesting. I did not expect you to go for three attacks there, but apparently you can. Well, good to know, because, uh... Well, now we know. But 2,480 experience, that should be another level. Okay, what are we looking at now? Level 30, okay. And final rank. Okay, cool. Rainbow rank, we'll take it. I'm wondering how close Bowser is, and what's our new ability? Oh, no new ability. BP, BP of Plenty was the new ability. Okay, so what do we want here? Badge energy or lucky? Honestly, we get luckies on Mario quite often. I don't think we need the badge boost. Because we're already pretty far into the game. I think we're good, I think. We don't use our badges very often. We use them on bosses for the most part. Especially with the KO one that we have. We have the KO and the HP heal. So I might as well just hold it the way we are. But, uh, yeah. Lucky badge. Is it giving me another, actually? It didn't kick me out, so... Oh, I guess I get both. Okay. I'll I'll take both. Cool. I was not expecting that, but cool. 7 HP, 3 BP, 7 power, 2 defense, 4 speed, and 2 stash. That's nice that that was an actual choice. It gave us both. Okay, cool. Um, 1 to 3. Not bad. Uh, 4. No, 5. There's a 4 in defense. A 2 in power. A 2 in BP. And a 4 in HP. Mm -hmm. Three is sounding good to me, honestly. So we're gonna go for the three, honestly. 89, not bad, almost to 100. Once we get to 100 on Mario, we'll be hitting it a lot more often. But there we go, level 30 for Luigi. He should get the damage reduction now. So that's gonna be nice, because we haven't been able to get that right. Yeah, we didn't. So cool. Okay, so we obviously go for Stoic Bro first, just in case. Because I want to make sure we 100% get both. I wasn't sure if that was just like... A fluke or something, but we did get both. So you get two for rainbow rank. Cool. Okay. We'll take it. 8 HP, 2 BP, 5 power, 2 defense, 2 speed, 4 stash. Not a bad level up at all. And the fact that we have the faster badge regeneration on both Mario and Luigi, as well as every other thing that we were able to get, it was definitely worth it to go for the stat ones first. So I'm very glad that we went for that. So, what is our level looking like? Ooh, there's a 3 in stash for Luigi. Might go for that, just for the idea of getting more. Uh, 4, that was a 5. That's a 2. That's a 3. Okay, I might go for that. 3 is always a good thing for BP, so I might be going for that. So, if we can get it, we'll definitely go for it. 
no, there we go, 92, not bad at all, <laughs> I'll take it, 92 uh, BP is always a good thing, just BP in general is always a good thing, but uh, honestly, kind of curious on this room, well, pink pipe in the middle, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but other than that, this room seems interesting, what's up here, oh, well, sent Luigi flying all the way up there. <laughs> Don't know how Mario fell down, but Luigi didn't. But, uh, send Mr. Dark Cloud back over here. Come on, Stonk. Get on over here, bud. I need you to kind of move a little bit, just so I can kind of see what's going... Well, apparently it's free items. I'm gonna skip Mr. Stonk there, to be fair, just because we did get that uh, max rank there. But I'm honestly, uh... Oof. <laughs> okay, I can't do the double jump here. Tried to, but, uh... Well, we ended up hitting that thing, but apparently it didn't count as a trip. I'm surprised about that one. Oh, hello. There's a lot of you. This is a definite magic window. Just because, uh, you being able to respawn yourself is, uh, honestly, might as well just make sure you don't do it. Is my honest opinion here. But, uh, honestly, as long as we get a good one, I don't think you can miss this that much. I think jumping is honestly the only thing that can happen here so if you miss your jump that's all that really happens so honestly we're definitely gonna more than likely get all of them here especially with this final jump yep 241 down he goes <laughs> drop two items for us two ultra syrup jars cool i'll take those that is basically you know a free heal for that bp we just used on them so it's definitely wanting you to go for that can't reach there though hmm probably can't do oh no i see what it is okay pink is for that okay now we know for sure let's get the jump on mr air cannon here because uh I'd rather get the jump on him than him get any freebies here but honestly mr egg let's see what you got for us here because the thing is is you aren't too dangerous for the most part but i do think hammer might be better for you so let's try the hammer 75 damage not bad at all and it seems like it's definitely worthwhile going for, just to make sure we do that big damage. Didn't break your cannon, but uh, your little... They slow down, actually. I just noticed that. Huh. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting that these bullet bills slow down like that. But uh, thankfully, it's not too bad. Thankfully, because we were able to kind of counteract all that. But still, though, that's not something good. And also, I just thought of something, because of uh, our rank up giving us multiple different things for Mario and Luigi. I'm curious to um, Bowser, because Bowser might get multiple uh, just different uh, abilities at once, too, because he has one for his flame attacks as well as his um, punching attacks, and then he also has one for his BP attacks. So I'm wondering if we're going to get both of those. That would be nice for Bowser, especially. Oh, hello, I was not expecting you to be. Standing on the other side of that. Well, they're de definitely uh, trying to scare the absolute uh, heck out of Mario and Luigi there. But another piece of DNA for Dark Star. Okay. Oh, well, it gained Bowser's shell. That's uh, not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, see you later, Dark Star. Huh. Well, it definitely caught us off guard. I could definitely say that one. Um, another near miss. Um, we almost had it that time too. No, we didn't. That dark star, it's definitely absorbing Bowser's traits, one by one, which isn't good. Next time we have to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a true there. Luigi, you feeling okay? <laughs> yep, he is. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm wondering, based on it, if um, getting Bowser's traits, would that mean that he's also, it would also gain Bowser's hatred of Mario and Luigi? Because the way it was like staring at us and well tried to attack us kind of back there that definitely would seem like so also why would you want to open this part that's weird hmm. guess it's just for completion sake i guess <laughs> but let's see here next room we got some bouncy panels no reason to go for uh freezing things in a while though rugged socks we already have a pair of those so we don't need those honestly we're gonna follow the bouncy trail here honestly ultra mushrooms Ultra Nuts, always good. Um, I think one is going to take us back to the one area, I think. I think this is going to definitely take us back to our original, yep, <laughs> our way of going backwards, cool. 
I was just making sure, because you never know. Um, and then we have a green pipe as well. Hmm. Well, now that all our shortcut areas are gone, I'm curious uh, to the fact of how much further we need to go in. Hmm. Well, honestly, so far so good, though. Um, these guys survive quite a lot, so it might be worth it to go Magic Mirror. So, honestly, let's go for it. See if it's enough damage to at least get rid of both of these cannons. The cannons don't break until the end of the fight, though. Unless it's gonna break early for this attack. I'm not too sure. It could, but it's possible. It seems like it's staying. So, a little unfortunate, so you can't go for any, like, free knockout on both of them if you get lucky. We did dizzy him, so maybe we'll get lucky here even if. But let's see here. It should break... Okay, one of the cannons broke. But 314, the other guy survived with 200. So I'm guessing more than likely Magic Mirror is good here in the long run. But down goes both air cannons and a max nut for our problems. Not bad. Okay, cool. Any kind of free healing is always a good thing. That heals both Mario and Luigi, so honestly, nothing bad about that. It's definitely... Ooh, hello, 50 coins. <laughs> Let's make sure we get those because uh, 50 coins uh, adds up. <laughs> That's for sure. But let's see, where are we looking at now? Honestly, still going, surprisingly. I would think that uh, with the previous area would be a lot closer to the final area of this place, but surprisingly, no. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, Mario can't go for any freebies. So do we just go hammer here and then go with a magic mirror on Luigi? Probably. That's what I'm going to say. Just because that makes a lot of sense to me. We'll try it. It's worth a worth the trouble, for sure. And hopefully it works for us, because you never honestly know. But uh, let's definitely get the jumping started, because let's be honest here, Mario and Luigi are definitely going to have a fun time here with everything going on with these cannons here. And honestly, Magic Mirror is just a fun ability in general. It's honestly my favorite one to use, just based on uh, just how it works. And also, uh, jumping for Mario and Luigi I've always been pretty good with. For some reason, we don't get the excellence as often in this game, just because uh, there is a timing in between the excellence now, with the you being able to hit it great now. But uh, honestly, for the most part, we still do a lot of damage, and honestly, I'm still good with the hammer, so it's not like it really, really, really affects us. But I do see an orange, so I'm guessing we can go to the other side here. Although, do we want to go that side? Probably. Oh no, it takes us back up here. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't seem like we need to use the water puzzle here, though. Based on the fact that we can just do that. We did see... No, we can't go under. Okay, I was wondering if we could, but no. <laughs> Got hit with a bullet, Bill. Thankfully, it doesn't affect us in battle, though. Okay, we definitely need to go mir mirror here. But I'm gonna go on a free bit of damage on you first. Just to make sure that you go down, because, okay, Luigi, Luigi, Mario, okay, so just wait for Luigi, Luigi again, then Mario, and GG. <laughs> nice try, but, uh, you tried, but, uh, you're definitely gonna fail for that one, I'm gonna be honest here. Magic window, get this all started. I keep wanting to say magic mirror, because it still kinda works, I guess you could say, but it is a magic window, it's just I keep wanting to say mirror, but, uh, this should be a freebie if it gives us the air napses on both of them. Because we, yep, now we're going to be focusing him completely. There's no way he survives the rest of these hits here. Especially with the fact that uh, the last three are jumps from Mario and Luigi. So, let's be honest here. That, yeah, 435, down you go. Sorry, bud. Gotta try harder than that. But max nut for Mario and Luigi, 1,800 experience. Almost another level, which is going to be pretty nice. 31, uh, level 31 would be nice here. I would like to go down here, though. 1-up Deluxe. Looks like that just sends us back. Oh, okay, we could have just went inside that, actually, is what I'm thinking. Based on the... I was thinking that the little orange... The little, uh, well, it's not orange, it's yellow on the mini-map, but I was thinking that was that... Oh, hello. Oh, maybe we do need to go up there, then. Okay, yeah, let me go through here, then. This should send us back through the other pipe, I think. Yep, it does, okay. But it was good that we went back down there, because there was secret blocks there. Although, any reason for the secret blocks? Seemingly no. 
But there is a save here. So, honestly, we're getting closer to the end of today's episode. Since, um... Uh, well, I think we're definitely going to be dealing with the Dark Star in the next episode. Although, thing is, is how much closer is the end of the game to us? Because let's be honest here, we've gotten pretty far into this game, and we're 100% on the final act of the game. Thing is, we're obviously now we're close to done at the same time. Because Bowser is clo locked in a room, so that definitely confirms that, you know, Bowser's still gotta do something. And obviously, Mario and Luigi still gotta do something, obviously, let's be honest here. It is a, you know, a mixed game. Both Mario and Luigi and Bowser all work correspondingly to each other. But, thing is, yeah, definitely, we're definitely getting closer and closer to the end of the game the further and further we go. And, thing is, is, how close are we to the end? Good question. But, it definitely is coming, that's for sure. I could definitely say that one, just based on if everything that's going on. They're not even, surprisingly. Hmm. Okay, well, level 31 for Mario. He's off by 31 experience, though, it looks like. But, 5 HP, 2 PP. Oh no, maybe Luigi will level up, maybe. But, 5 HP, 2 PP, 6 power, 2 defense, 2 speed, and 2 stash. Not bad. Not bad at all. Almost 100 um, stash for Mario is always a good thing, especially with our new ability. So, let's see here. 4 in power, or defense. 2 in power. 2 in BP. And 4 in D HP. I'm gonna go defense here. I think defense is worth it. Just because of, just in general, it will definitely come in handy later. But, wait for the timer. Got the 2, okay. Not the best, but at least it's not a 1. But 190's not bad. We'll take it. And yeah, they, they're not even. It's Starware, and then Ultra Syrup Jars. Not bad. New uh, gear for us, so there was a reason to go up there. Kind of curious, though, before we do end off, what is the Starware for? Because that is new. Makes wearer the star of the show. Also helps avoid attacks by slow enemies. Okay. Hmm. It seems like a negative. Huh. Okay, then. What about you? The thing is, is uh, what did the brawny wear do exactly again? It was increasing our critical and lucky hit damage. Huh. It's lower power. Honestly, I think we just keep the star. That doesn't make me. That does not make me think the star of the show. We could just get another king's wear for Luigi if we wanted to, but. uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say we stick with what we have. Also, we got that Divine Shell. Kind of curious. Automatically recovers the wearer's HP and BP. Could be good, but we're losing 30 power in defense. Hmm. Okay. That's what Midbiss dropped, though. Huh. Okay. Not the best thing, but eh, it could be worse, I guess. But with that being said, we're gonna grab our save, see if anything's in the new save album. No, there isn't. Well, with that being said... Thank you guys so, 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 so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys, like always. And with that being said, honestly, there's only one thing left to do. Collect the Dark Star, hopefully get Bowser out of this room, and figure out what happened to Fawful. And honestly, from there, that's definitely up in mystery. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.